Hey guys, welcome back. Today on Ed Gasket, just as promised, we're gonna install a motor in our old, but very new looking Honda three-wheeler restoration project. Let's go take a peek. And here lies our completely rebuilt Honda 110 motor. Stay tuned to the end of the video if you're interested in hearing just how much it costs to build. Let's pull from our NOS parts pile and get this motor mounted. The materials needed to mount our motor include the engine cradle, five bolts, five washers, five nuts, and of course the 14 millimeter wrenches. We'll start with our engine cradle. We'll secure it to the frame using two bolts and two nuts. Awkwardly and uncomfortably place the motor underneath the frame, center it, and stare at it realizing you need a better way to hoist it while you put the hardware in. A car jack and a block of wood work really well. For the second time in five minutes, carry your motor awkwardly over, place it on the jack, Center the jack underneath the frame and begin raising the motor. You may find that your recently installed engine cradle is a bit in the way. Remove one bolt, teeter it forward, and then place the motor into its final resting place. Offer the bolts and adjust the jack. Looking good. Place your longer rear motor mount bolts through the frame and the motor. Lower the jack and get it out of the way. Spend the next few moments tightening down the bolts that we just installed. Start on the cradle and finish up on the rear bolts that we just installed through the frame. Let's move on to the rear grab bar. Things we'll need, two grommets, two nuts, two long bolts, and the grab bar. Start with the two rubber grommets. Slip them over the frame where the seat will mount. You'll have to remove your left rear tire to make room for the long bolts. Mock up the rear grab bar. Take your first long bolt and slide it through the mount. Take your second bolt and slide this one through the mount as well. Grab your two nuts, careful. Put them on hand tight and then go grab your wrenches. Put your left rear tire back onto the axle and hand tighten the bolt. Next, take a soft towel and wrap it around the rear grab bar. This is gonna act as a pad. Use a zip tie to hold it in place and then flip up the three-wheeler carefully as to expose the underside of the motor. To mount our foot pegs, we'll need four bolts and a 12 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna mock up our foot pegs. We'll take our four bolts and insert them hand tight. Take your socket off of the wrench and hand tighten those. Wipe your sweat and follow up with a final torque. Wrap your chain around the front and rear sprockets. Insert the master link and line up both ends of the chain so that you can insert and clip in the link. Add the extra component of the link and then line up the clip. Use a pair of snap pliers or needle nose to snap it into place. Lift up the rear end of the machine and remove that left rear tire once again. We'll prepare our chain guard and place it over the axle and over the rear sprocket. This assembly requires two bolts and a 10 millimeter wrench. Snap that first bolt into place, put your rear tire back on, and then snug that rear bolt. Next up is our skid plate, fresh from powder coat. It requires four bolts and a 12 millimeter wrench. Place them hand tight and then follow up with a final torque from the wrench. So for those of you that are here because you want to know what that motor costs to build, I'm going to tell you right now. So I bought this motor for $100 out of a three-wheeler that was running. I then took it completely apart down to the last bolt. I replaced every bolt, every nut, every seal, and every bearing that I could with new old stock parts. This total cost $526 just to buy parts for this. So I'm $100 in on the machine, $526 in parts. Then the last thing to buy were graphics or decals for this machine, which you cannot buy NOS. So I bought those from Europe, and those were $45. So total, all in on this motor right here, is $671. Wow, guys, check out how far we've come in just a few days of work with our three-wheeler. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, as well as leave a comment below about what you did or did not enjoy so much in today's video. If you want to see more videos like this here, please hit the subscribe button so that we can continue to convince you that no matter what it is you're working on, like this three-wheeler, you can fix it yourself.